Aus der Sinfalife TV Headline News, February 9th, I'm Margot Dutkevich. Visiting Stirot Saturday after over 30 Kassam rockets were fired at southern Israel over the weekend. Internal Security Minister Avi Dichter told reporters he found a battered city in which 20% of its residents have already left. Two rockets landed in open areas in the western neg of Saturday. On Friday, barrages of rockets landed in Stirot, where two homes suffered a direct hit. Palestinian Authority Prime Minister Salam Fayed predicts that a final peace agreement with Israel will not be signed by the end of 2008. Speaking during a visit to Texas, Fayed said the peace talks were not advancing at the necessary pace, mainly due to Israel's negligence in dismantling illegal settlements in the West Bank. The Palestinian Prime Minister also criticized Israel's military actions in the West Bank. Facing its worst crisis since the 1975 to 1990 civil war, Lebanese Parliament Speaker Nabil Berry announced Saturday that Lebanon's presidential elections will be postponed once again for the 14th time and set a new date for February 26. Lebanon has been without a head of state since November. According to a Times Online report, Israeli fighter pilots may soon be receiving Viagra-style pills to help them perform better at greater heights, according to a recent military study. Researchers believe the ingredients that allow improved blood flow may help flyers operating at higher altitudes. Israeli tennis champions Andy Rum and Jonathan Ehrlich beat Sweden's Simon Aspelin and Robert Lindestart 6-3, 7-6, 7-5 in a Davis Cup World Group first round on Saturday, giving the Israeli team a 2-1 lead over Sweden. After showing signs of recovery early this week, the U.S. dollar once again fell sharply against the shekel in trading Friday, dropping 1.2% to close at 3.611 shekels. The Bank of Israel also reported a sharp drop in the value of the euro, which fell 2.1%. That's all for InfoLive TV, Israel's only network television site that broadcasts in four languages from Jerusalem to the world. InfoLive.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? Infolive.tv offers you a unique service, regular video news updates, free of charge, on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. Today the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages? Live from Jerusalem, InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.